I wanted to show an example of a journal file that would help me select holes in a part similar to this. This is kind of a simplified mock-up of a much um, a larger part with many, many, many more holes. But the similarity is that the holes all um, lay on a single face. So when you do your drilling operation, there was a requirement to do one row at a time. It has to do with organizing the output and when the head tips and things like that. Um, when you select holes, you do have some nice ways to uh, select all holes on a face, but of course that would get all the holes and um, the sequencing would maybe not be exactly what you want. We really want to pick just one row of holes um, at a time. Uh, you could of course pick, pick, pick and you spend a lot of time selecting holes and you might accidentally pick through and get the back of a hole. Uh, fencing also you might accidentally get the back of a hole. So uh, here's a little journal file that I, I think is pretty cool. <clears throat> give you an example of how it works first of all and really what it's going to do is it's going to kind of attribute these holes it's going to it's going to assign a name uh, to a row of holes so the requirement is the journal wants an edge so I pick an edge of one hole and then I pick the uh, face that all the other holes uh, uh, lie on the entry point you could say and then when we run the journal Uh, it uses those selections and it's going to ask me just to give that uh, row a name. I'll call it R1. And it's going to go look around on that face uh, for other holes that... Um, it creates a range box around each hole and compares the Z position of the selected hole to all the other holes on the face. So it, it attributes only the holes in that Z uh, row. So if you uh, highlight an edge and then do uh, information object, you'll see that the name is actually R1 uh, versus if I pick another hole, uh, the, the ID is just some random number that the software generates. So then we can take advantage of this um, when we do our drilling. You can do uh, select and you can use class selection and type my R1 and then it goes ahead and grabs all of those holes in that row. It's kind of an interesting use of a journal file. It didn't really take too long to create. Uh, I might hit OK because then you could do optimize, shortest path, OK and uh, generate that and um, you see we just get that one row of holes now if we go and take a little look at the journal file, you see it's really not too, too long. Uh, it's just a little more than 100 lines of code. A lot of it's boilerplate. Um, you can, of course, record a journal file to get you started, or just record small um, operations and grab the code out of there. So it just gets the session, gets the work part, um, gets the user interface, uh, so I can display message boxes um, and then we're just interested in grabbing um, the selected edge and uh, the selected face not a whole lot of error checking in here but we just do want to catch a couple of things that if the user forgets to select an edge edge and then a face in that particular order uh, so we grab some uh, information off the hole now that was a little bit tricky um, in the uh, API documentation, you'll see that there is a uh, these user uh, UF session model ask face data. So that is actually getting um, geometry information off each hole. And I broke these into functions just to make them a little more uh, modular. And this gets this determines a hole uh, uh, next to an edge. So it goes and finds all first finds all the edges uh, on the face and then it goes finds holes adjacent uh, to all, all those edges and really it just uh, sets a name to whatever the name 
uh, is that the user specified. So uh, kind of interesting, thought I'd share.